Hello everyone, this is Carson here today, and I'm back with another video. This is a gaming video. Um, I normally don't post gaming videos on here. I just don't. I it's not. I mainly post Hot Wheels videos, but today I'm going to be posting a gaming video. So I've been hearing rumors about Super Smash Brothers for the Switch uh, being. You know, I've heard about it being rumored for E3 2018, and of course we've got a couple months until E3 2018 is going to come along. So. I, and some people are saying it's like a fusion between Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U and the 3DS being put together. And I think that's really cool that, uh, I think if it comes out that this is really the case, I think that is really cool that this is going to happen. Now, I've been seeing a lot of speculation online as to what the characters are, as to what bonus characters they could put in, because this would be a definitive edition or a deluxe edition if there's no Smash Brothers uh, there could be obviously there has to be a Smash Brothers in the Switch. So because every every year every console there is a Smash Brothers game except for the DS and the Game Boy Advance games. But um, I wanted to share with you guys my opinion on uh, on just characters that I think c should come up in uh, Smash Brothers for the Switch. Now I have uh, six characters, uh, three of which are newcomers, and three of which are uh, comeback characters. Uh, I wanted to make it equal just so uh, I have people kind of, you know, just formulating thoughts. And if you are a Super Smash Brothers player, uh, let me know what your comeback character slash uh, newcomer should be. And as always, uh, let's get started with the video. So as a newcomer, this is newcomer number one, uh, should be the Inklings. Um, and I have their amiibo characters. I don't, now for these guys, I don't know how they'll work. I have to kind of wait and see if they're going to reveal. I've seen like I have the me costume for these guys, but I don't know how these guys will necessarily work in uh, Super Smash Brothers because all they do is shoot ink out of their guns. So I don't know how they're going to work in the game. But um, and as in terms of move sets, I don't know how they'll work. But yeah, this is how uh, it. And it's a little hard to formulate my thoughts, but and I haven't played Smash Brothers in a while, but. Uh, but yeah, and I think it's because Splatoon 2 is a new series that Nintendo has introduced to us, and with the release of Splatoon 2 uh, not too long ago, around summer of 2017, uh, I think it would be it would be fair to include Splatoon 2, uh, the Inklings from Splatoon and Splatoon 2, and obviously boy and girl uh, skins should be included. I don't know what the final Smash would be. Uh, it, it can be, uh, I don't know, the Kraken, it can be... Tenta missiles. I don't know. I, I'd have to find out for myself. I don't know, but uh, you can you can leave your thoughts in the comments below on what these guys could be. Now, comeback character number one. This guy was my main in my in Brawl in Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii, and I'm very sad that this character did not make it into Smash Brothers for the Wii U. But this guy, you might you might be you might call me crazy, but this guy is Wolf. Actually, let me lower the brightness on this. This guy is Wolf. Um, from Star Fox. Uh, yeah, he was my main in Brawl. I don't know why. I loved how powerful he was. He was a very powerful character. And, uh, I don't know. He was a lot more powerful than Fox. I like Fox. Uh, he was, he was, he was a good character. But this guy was my main in, in my main in Brawl. And I just love how he played as a character alone. Sure, he didn't play that much of a role in, in Brawl's, uh, subspace emissary. But, still, he's a pretty cool character. Um, I thought he would... I thought he would play out nice in uh, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, but other than that, he didn't make it, and it was kind of bittersweet when they when they revealed Bayonetta. I was kind of sad. I was happy that they that we got a winner for uh, the the Smash Ballot, but instead we ended up getting Bayonetta, which I I like Bayonetta. Bayonetta is a cool character, but other than that, aside, um, that's about it. Now, uh, newcomer number two, Shantae. Um, Shantae is kind of similar from what I hear. I don't know much about Shantae. I don't play the games. I've never played the Shantae games, so I don't much about, I don't know much about her. I've learned about Shantae just recently, but the, I think having Shantae in the games would be really, really cool. I think, um, I think, and, and from what I've been hearing that, from what I've been hearing is that Shantae is extremely similar to Bayonetta. She can turn into animals and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, I've been hearing a lot of people requesting Shantae show up in the games. Um, I was going to include Shovel Knight, but I 
I was going to include Shovel Knight, but there was like a limited amount of newcomers, and I wanted everything to stay balanced, so that's why I, that's why I went for three. So sorry for Shovel Knight fans, but I but I still support Shovel Knight being in Smash. Uh, anyways, for newcomer number two, and some of you may be surprised to see this. I, I'm I mean comeback comeback fighter, uh, Snake. Now this one I highly doubt coming back because of the whole thing with Kojima and such, but um, I don't know much about uh, the Kojima stuff going on, but I highly doubt Snake will come back, but if he does come back, I will be very, very happy. And one hint about Snake coming back is um, when I was looking through the soundtracks of Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U, one of them was a Solid Snake track, um, was a Metal Gear Solid track, and I thought, hmm, maybe this might have hinted that they were going to bring Snake back. And I know some of you might disagree, you know, because of the whole Kojima thing, Hideo Kojima thing. Um, I've never done my research onto that because, uh, but I did hear about the whole disagreement with Hideo Kojima and stuff like that. So, um, and and I do understand that some people are a little biased with Snake being in Smash Brothers, but yeah. Um, newcomer number three. Um, and this one is kind of strange, and just like the Inklings, I don't know how he'll work, but... Springman from ARMS. Um, so Springman, if you don't know, he's got extremely long arms, spring-like arms, which is why he has his name. And some people say he kind of looks a bit like Little Mac. Um, so some people are saying he's going to work a bit like Little Mac, but obviously his final smash is going to be a flurry, is going to be a flurry rush, or, uh, I, yeah, flurry, I think that's what they call it in the game. Um, I just played Bayonetta 2, I made it through the game, so, but it's a flurry, so that would be the final smash. And I don't know what the up special would be, but um, I think having Springman in the game would, would be fair because the Switch, it's on the Switch, so it would only be fair to have Springman in the game because Arm, ARMS is also in there, and it's also a fighting game too. And for newcomer num no, not newcomer, I don't know why I'm saying that, but comeback number three. Uh, this one, I think, from what I've been hearing, from what rumors are saying, these guys uh, are confirmed to come back. I don't really know how true that is, but it is the Ice Climbers. I never, they never appealed to me at all. They just never did. I never, uh, they just never appealed to me in Brawl. They never appealed to me in Melee. Um, I don't have Melee, uh, but I played Melee, but... They never appealed to me at all. There was just something about them that never appealed to me, but out of all characters that were available that were not in Smash for the Wii U, I was like, you know what, I, I gotta I gotta I have no other choice but to get these guys. I don't want Pichu in Smash for I don't want Smash for the for the Switch because Pichu was a terrible character. He was god awful. He was so redundant. And I could go on and on and on about all the I could go on and on and on about why Young Link should be in there, but um, again, I haven't played. I don't. I have very little experience with Melee, but I do have a lot of experience with the newer games. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, basically it with the Ice Claimers. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below on what you think should come back in Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. No, Super Smash Brothers for the Switch. And let me know what your thoughts are. Anyways, take care. Bye.